Hello and welcome to the latest release of the custom ROM for the ZTE Blade. This is Fish and Chips Release 3. My ZTE Blade here, the original OLED one, slightly cracked screen now. Thank you New Year Celebrations. Here we go, and a rundown of things that we have changed and updated in Release 3. Firstly, new and improved notification bar power control widget. Woohoo, there it is. Um, firstly, I'll just pay a little bit of attention to the widget itself. A slightly different shape um, that lights up here. Can you see those? It's a, like an ellipsis or an oval sort of shape. We thought that would be pretty nice. There you go. Also, thanks to um, popular opinion, we decided that yes, it was too blue, the translucent bar that we had here, the translucent background to the notification bar, and we have changed it from 40% translucent to 20% translucent. As you can see, it's slightly more subtle and goes a little bit more with the minimalist theme that we've got going on. Next thing, we have ICS window animations that we've added, which, is a, which can be demonstrated here. It's quite hard to see on video but you can see it's slightly different, it's like a blur the screen expands and then gets slightly smaller when you change from box to box okay you'll be able to see that when you flash the ROM yourself next thing we have a all new theme chooser for the Nemus version of our ROM Here's, this is at the moment on the stock Nemus theme that comes along pre-installed okay to change it we do as follows menu button, then launcher settings, then to theme settings. Now this theme chooser comes pre-installed when you uh, install the Nemus version of Fish and Chips Release 3 and I am going to use this one just here. This is the blue, the neon blue theme for Nemus. Okay, you press apply and just one second okay and Bob's your uncle there is a neon blue theme all these icons have been edited now the person that did this work for us his name is SS single track full respect to him 100% credit to him if you zoom in a little on some of the icons you can see what a good job is done of editing them changing them just to neon blue color that's perfect matches our theme um, to show this info, look, he's changed the dialer, the messaging, the menu. He's changed these from blue dots to green dots to blue dots, as you can see there. Um, let me just go into the app drawer, and you can see he's done quite a few icons. Look at how many he's done. All of these, his super user, car home, news and weather, sound recorder, Google Talk, maps. He's even gone the whole way and done titanium backup, swipe pad, and another couple of very popular apps that have come from the market. So that's... SS single track, full respect to him. Thank you very much for doing that. We really appreciate it. Good work here. Okay, so that's our theme chooser. Launcher settings, theme settings, and you select whichever theme we've got here. We've got a experimental theme here. We'll just show you this quickly. This is not being released in release three, but it should be coming in the next couple of days. This is a retro fish and chips on newspaper theme. How do you like that? any good as you can see we've grayscaled everything out hopefully a couple of you retro fans out there will quite like that we don't know not too sure at the moment about it but yeah we just thought it was a bit of fun so there we are next thing what have we done we've also updated the super user and updated to the latest super user binary also we've installed the latest google apps pack um, that was available um, thanks to someone in our thread for making the suggestion. Uh, we've gone through that. We've got a new mystery notification sound. Hope you all like this. Just personal preference, really. And anything else? Oh, yeah, we've got the FM radio working properly. We uninstalled the ZTE FM radio, and now we have only the stock FM radio that's working very nicely on here, um, if you can see it. Okay, also we've updated the swipe installer. Let me change the theme back quickly so you can see a bit better. 
not that one. This one. We've updated the swipe installer and it works exceptionally well. Um, I'll just demonstrate the swipe. Okay, we've been repping swipe from the very start. Myself and Raver are huge fans of swipe, and this is the latest version with supports. It supports this te sort of technology here. It is called. It is a multilingual text to speech dictator. Okay, so you can change the languages. There are these languages available English, French, Italian, German, Spanish, Portuguese, Danish, uh, that is Dutch, and I don't know what the last two are. Okay, so here's a slight demonstration of swipe in action. Let's change it to English first. As you can see there, there's my name, um, Raver, instead of typing R-A-V-E-R-R-R, -R -R -R, you can just go like that, R-A-V-E-R-R, -R -R. ooh, that was wrong, that's better, okay, we really, really recommend Swipe, if you don't already have it or you haven't tried it, just give it a go, um, we'll sure you'll be pleased with it, excellent app incredible app in my opinion just follow the link on the thread and you should find how to install the Android beta version of swipe okay anything else in release 3 uh, we've updated the busybox sim links well we've included the rest of the busybox sim links which weren't included with the ginger leak um, when it was initially released and um, that's about it um, there's a couple of other things you'll probably find out when you flash the ROM and find out exactly what's changed. Okay, thank you very much. That's Fish and Chips Release 3. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.